Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this fun stripe pattern that has these kind of uneven edges to it. Uh, first off, we are going to create our stripe pattern uh, paper. So we're going to go to uh, Create New. We're going to um, change this to pixels, and then I'm going to do a width of 180 pixels by 180 and then just leave the resolution at 300. Um, our color mode is RGB color and then I'm going to change my background to transparent and then go ahead and hit OK create. Next I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on my canvas using um, command plus just to zoom in here. With this new document we're first going to define our pattern for our repeating horizontal stripe. So we are going to use the marquee tool here and then under style I'm going to change it to fixed size because I know uh, the size that I want to make this rectangle. We're going to do a width of 180 pixels to match the dimension of our document and then for our height here we're going to change this to 90 pixels. And then just go ahead and hit OK there. And then um, just select on your screen. And then with that selected, we are going to fill it. And so to uh, fill it with our foreground color here, you're going to hit, um, for Mac users, you're going to hit Option Delete, and it will fill it in. And then we'll go ahead and de deselect that by going Command D. You could always go up to uh, Select, Deselect here. And then uh, with that layer selected, uh, we're going to go ahead and move it to uh, the center. And then you can just use uh, the guidelines here to uh, center it there. And then from here, we are going to um, save this and define it as a pattern. So we'll go to edit and then we'll go to define pattern and then you can just give it a name and then click OK. And then next we're going to open our uh, new document. So we'll go to um, File New. And then we'll create uh, the dimensions of typical scrapbook paper, which is our 12 inches uh, by 12 inches with a 300 uh, resolution. Our color mode is RGB color. And then we'll just keep the background content as white and then go ahead and create. And then uh, from here, we are going to um, add our pattern adjustment layer. So go ahead to uh, hear the dialog for the adjustment layers and select pattern. And then from the drop down, you'll choose that new pattern that you created and it will fill uh, your canvas here. And then when you do patterns, you always have the option to angle it. You can scale it up, scale it down. Um, and then when you're in this dialog box, you could always move it around. And then to get it back to kind of the original, you can go snap to origin. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. So we have our, our strap stripe pattern here. What we're going to do next is we are going to create what is called a displacement map. So we're going to actually open another document. We'll go File New. And then um, I'm going to use the same dimensions, the 12 inches. Um, which is the 30, if we changed it to pixels here, it's 3600 by 3600. Keeping the resolution um, and keeping the contents, background contents white. And we'll just go ahead and create that document here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create this displacement, displacement map. And what that is, is it's a document that is um, black and white. And then you'll use that to distort your stripe patterns. So to do that, we are going to. Um, down here for your default colors, you want to make sure it's set to default. You can always click on the little icon to uh, reset it there. And then we are going to go to, we're going to go to filter. You're going to go to render and then choose add difference clouds. And then using um, what it does is it uses those uh, two colors and it creates this kind of uh, dynamic look here. And so now we are going to save this document. Go ahead and give it a name. In this case, we'll just call it um, Difference Clouds. And then I save it. You're going to save it as a Photoshop document. Okay. 
And then we'll go back into our stripe patterns here. And then what you want to do is you're going to uh, take this pattern layer and then you're going to um, convert it to a smart object. So you can do that by right clicking and then just say convert to smart object. And then next we are going to apply our uh, displacement map. So we'll go to filter and then you'll go to distort and then select displace. And then uh, from here you can change the horizontal scale and the vertical scale. And ideally um, when you're creating your displacement map for your document is you'll want to um, have the two documents the same size. So we did um, both of them in the 3600 by 3600 uh, pixels. Um, if your displacement map is a different size, then these uh, factors will come into play where you'll need to either select stretch to fit or to tile it. Um, and then you can select the wrap around or repeat edge pixels here. Um, but we're going to focus on these horizontal scale and vertical scale. So I'm going to set it to, um, to start with, we'll start with 10 and see what kind of effect that has. You'll hit OK and then you'll need to uh, select that displacement map file. Here we have it available to us. We have our difference clouds and then go ahead and click open. And then as you can see, it started to add those kind of jagged edges. And if you want maybe a little bit more of an intense effect, you can go always click back on the uh, small smart filter here. And then you can increase the horizontal scale, vertical scale. Um, they don't necessarily have to be the same values. You can play around with different values. We'll click OK and then it will ask you to um, select that file again. Click open and then it will apply that effect for you there. And then if you want to go ahead and color that, we're going to go to the adjustment layers here and then we'll select solid color. And then uh, you can pick a value here. Let's do maybe a little bit of a purple. Uh, let's do a little bit darker. And then uh, you'll create a clipping mask by going to uh, right click and then you can do create clipping mask and then it will color your uh, value there. So um, using this color adjustment layer, you can easily click back in, change the color if you want. Um, this light purple looks a little nicer and it's just a easy way to um, create your paper. And so this using this displacement map is a fun way to add a little bit more dimension to um, your design by giving it a little bit more of that like uneven effect there. Next, if you want to uh, save your design as a uh, scrapbook paper, you're gonna go to a uh, file, save as, and then you'll um, choose where you wanna save it to and then um, give it a name. So we'll do uneven stripes. And then um, we'll, in this case, you wanna change your file format to JPEG. And then you'll want to uh, keep this color profile and then click save. And then um, if you're planning on using this for kind of digital scrapbook paper, the bigger the size, the higher the quality. So um, we'll just kind of keep it at maximum here and then click OK to uh, save that uh, design. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to create this horizontal stripe pattern with these kind of jagged edges. It's just a fun uh, way to add a little bit of dimension to um, the typical kind of stripe design. We achieved this effect by using a displacement map. So definitely try that out for your designs. In the description below, I'll leave a link to my shop where I sell uh, Photoshop pattern templates that you can purchase. You can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell digital paper packs for digital scrapbooking. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.